What's up, Titans, and welcome to another episode of Titan Weekly, where we give you the most up-to-date information on all of our productions here at Titan TV, as well as the latest news, trends, and events. I'm Abby Fernandez. And I'm Cassidy Joe Fortin. Filling in today for Hibba Berry, we here at Titan Weekly let you, our viewers, know what our shows have been up to. And if you want to see full episodes of the Titan TV productions mentioned, click on the link in the description box below. How was your weekend, Abby? It was pretty nice. I want to thank you uh, for filling in last week for me. No I was out in New York, as many of you know. I was celebrating my birthday. Okay, then good my reason excuse. to go. Good excuse, good excuse. I'll, I'll forgive it. What did you do? <laughs> I got my wisdom teeth out this weekend. Cassidy. Oh my gosh, Cassidy's here, guys. What a trooper. Yep. What, uh, you look good, though. Thank you. Yeah, luckily they didn't get too chipmunky, um, as everyone thought they would, but um, just a little bit of pain and... <gasps> Popping a few ibuprofens and I'm powering through. <laughs> oh my gosh, when did this happen though? When did you get Thursday. It done? So lots of soup this weekend. Cassidy, lots of soup. Gatorade. Bring them out to Titan TV. Support <laughs> support Cassidy I'll take here. It. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, guys, did you know you can get apps and software like Adobe Premiere Pro and InDesign for free with your student enrollment? The latest episode on Tech On shows you the kind of benefits you get just for being a CSUF student. I mean, it's the least they can do for all this parking situation happening, huh? Even though the Las Vegas tragedy happened in another state, CSUF is still impacted as many students, friends, and faculty were at the concert that night. The OC News team talks to some of those affected by this terrible event. Uh, your daughter, Hannah Calloway, was at the Route 91 concert, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Can you tell me about um, when she first contacted you? It, it seemed like it was about 11 p.m. last night, somewhere in there. Anyhow, she was involved in an area where they were shooting and she was frantic on the phone and she told me that she was safe. For more coverage on the Las Vegas shooting, check out the latest episodes of OC News. Parts of the 91 freeway are closed today due to a wind-driven brush fire that is rapidly spreading throughout the Anaheim Hills area. There is no specific number of acres burned yet, but evacuations are in order. The fire is west of the Canyon Fire that happened earlier this month. Napa Valley is also in flames with at least 44,000 acres burned. The fire started burning in Napa County and spread to Sonoma County. I don't know what's been going on with all of these fires recently. I'm so shocked. When I was driving here earlier, probably like, I don't know, it was like 1030 something, mm -hmm. my, my car was literally shaking left and right. I mean, you, you, all you could see was like a massive cloud that was like oh, wow. gray, gray, orange. It was, it's so surreal to see this happening right here in our backyard. Exactly. And happening so close to home right after the one we had just two weeks ago in relatively the same area just about. It's mind-boggling and just our hopes, go, hopes and prayers go out to all of those affected by it. Um, Hibba Berry's not here today just because she has to go and deal with that as well. So thoughts got with her. For sure, guys. Stay safe out there and make sure you protect yourselves because there's going to be a lot of allergies today. Watch the freeway. California Governor Jerry Brown signed a sanctuary state legislation last Thursday which limits coordination between local law enforcement and federal immigration officials. The bill puts California publicly in conflict with Trump's plan to deport millions of undocumented immigrants. California is home to more than 2 million undocumented immigrants, according to Politico. And the bill will prohibit local law enforcement from asking about immigration status and working on cases with federal immigration agents. Brown said in a statement, quote, These are uncertain times for undocumented Californians. Californians and their families. And this bill strikes a balance that will protect public safety while bringing a measure of comfort to those families who are now living in fear every day, end quote. In sad news, musician Tom Petty passed away last Monday after he suffered a full cardiac arrest and was found unconscious in his Malibu home last Sunday night. The singer was rushed to the nearest hospital and put on life support until he passed away the next day. The 66-year-old musician rose to fame in the 70s with his band Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. The group had several hits like American Girl, Learning to Fly, and Refugee. Petty also had a successful solo career with songs like Free Fallen and I Won't Back Down. Petty earned a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction in 2002 and played the Super Bowl halftime show in 2008. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers 40th anniversary tour just wrapped up at the Hollywood Bowl last week, make, marking it Petty's final performance. Heartbreaking indeed. Were you a fan of Petty? Um, I'm not going to lie to you, Cassidy. No, I didn't. I know the song Free Falling and stuff, but a lot of my friends are um, war true fans, or are mm -hmm. still true fans, I guess I should say, and so they're really sad. So, I don't know. What, were you a fan? Um, my parents like to listen to Tom Petty. They like to listen to a bunch of different music like that. So, I'd probably recognize a few more of his songs, definitely Free Falling. So, it is really sad to hear about his death. 
Google has introduced a new set of smart earbuds that can translate 40 different languages in real time. The device is called Pixel Buds and is $159. And all you have to do is hold down on the earbud and tell Google Assistant which language you want to speak in, and your translation will play from your phone's speakers. When someone replies, the translation is played through the earbuds. Very cool, but unfortunately it only works with Pixel phones, and no set release date has been announced since only prototypes have been made. But it's still pretty legit that our world is getting just a bit smaller. I would buy them. I would buy them too. Sign me up. I just need a Pixel phone apparently. <laughs> In other technology news, AOL Instant Messenger will shut down after 20 years. The Instant Messenger that was many of our first interactions with social media will shut down December 15th. AIM, which launched back in 1997, was one of the first widely used free chat services. Some took to Twitter to express their nostalgia, while others were surprised AIM was still around. The company stated, quote, AIM tapped into new digital technologies and ignited a cultural shift. But the way in which we communicate with each other has profoundly changed. As a result, we've made the decision that we'll be discontinuing AIM, end quote. Rip to AIM, only us 90s kids will remember spending hours thinking of a clever away message and the perfect My Chemical Romance lyric to put in our bio. <laughs> OMG. I read this yesterday and I couldn't believe it, guys. I mean, I, I was one of those people that was like, AIM is still on. Right? Yeah. And my sisters are only a few years younger than me, but they were like, what is this? Like, they, didn't, they could not comprehend what it was or what it was for. They are like, well, there's text messages. Like, no, we didn't have that. But, you know, it's kind of sad, though, because now that I think about it and I sit down, I'm like, it's kind of, it's, yeah, it is the end of an era. I it mean, is. I us 90s kids, we used to have to pedal to get, you know, the, the we didn't have Wi-Fi. What am <laughs> no. I talking about? The internet working, guys. And so, I don't know, this is kind of sad. Yeah, us 90s kids lived a hard life. <laughs> we surely did. Anyway, in other um, astonishing news here, a Bob's Burgers feature-length film is in the works and is set to release July of 2020. The announcement was made um, days after season 8 premiered and its second Emmy win for Best Animated Series this year. This will be Fox Studios' first theatrically released animated movie based on a series since The Simpsons movie back in 2007. Creator Lauren Burchard has said that the movie will have the Bletcher clan on big adventure and that it has been or should be, quote, the best movie ever made, end quote. So, like, no pressure or anything. All right, so I gotta say, it's been a while since they've made a movie. Mm -hmm. Like, in the Simpsons movie, it had pretty good hype. People still talk about it. They yes. quote it, spider pig, spider pig does whatever <laughs> a spider pig does. So, that okay. being said... <laughs> Kennedy, she has a lot of energy there today, Cassidy, here. No, but you're right. Yeah, so, that being said, I feel like this will be a good movie. I'm not 100% on the Bob's Burgers bandwagon, but I have a feeling it will be a good one. Me either, guys. I have never watched Bob's Burgers, which is terrible. This entire episode, we've never watched anything, apparently. Sorry. But for next week, we will. We'll um, report back. <laughs> we have to watch it. But anyway, guys, that's all here um, that we have for today at Titan Weekly. I'm Abby Fernandez. And I'm Cassie Joe Fortune. Hibba Berry will be back next week. Be sure to check out our other productions here on Titan TV, and we'll see you next time.